All right, we used up everything. Yeah. I between this session and next one is definitely going to be a baking session. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the cooking show. I got to refill on mega elixirs and max ethers. Oh god, I have completely... I have completely gone through everything. Mm -hmm. Hey, Crispy. Thanks for having all your ingredients just right there. Thanks for having the ingredients for the best TP restore in the game just right here for very cheap. With just a little bit of busy work to get the, uh... Mm -hmm. Donuts. Time to bake the donuts. that as interesting as this book is, it is largely just like, here's how you identify the bugs. Ah. There's not as many bug facts in here as I would like. Oh no. We found the weakness in the in the bug facts book. Yeah. Alright, we do have digging power, so we can open up a few more paths out here. That's not opening yet. I am learning a lot of very interesting bug names, though. For example, the alkali bee. I don't like that that implies the acidic bee. Uh-oh. <laughs> acid bees is what we all, what we all need. <laughs> the, it's the sharks with freaking laser beams of bees. Well, that's going into the game concept of my nightmares. <laughs> I hate bees anyway. I love bees, but <laughs> the idea of a, I mean, even a a, a a basic in the term of like acid and base bees, like that's horrifying. Mm -hmm. I guess they're called that because it. they prefer alkaline or clay soils. Also, there's a whole bunch of parasitic bees and wasps called cuckoo bees and cuckoo wasps. So named for the cuckoo bird. They're parasites in similar ways. In this particular case, they use the uh, nests of sweat bees as the secret home for their children. Ugh. Yep. There was not a part of that sentence I liked. I know. <laughs> All right. Stream Mountain's still not open, so it, I'm pretty sure it means I have to open up desert. Either open up or complete the desert temple to... Yeah, Get Stream Mountain open up. <sighs> Hate it when you have to make main progress. <laughs> yeah. Damn game. Pushing things forward. Okay, so we can go this way now. Oh, you, you can bump into enemies that way, though. Oh, no! Well, goodbye. It's like a little, little scorpion-type enemy. Yep. I have just encountered in this book 
the Mexican two-tailed spider. I didn't know spiders could have any tails. Oh, let alone it's... two. Oh, it's this way. That's right. There's there's two entrance. There's two sides to this mountain. Uh, That's right. That indicator is actually kind of a recent innovation. Mm -hmm. Ooh, big boy. Yeah, we we can't really deal with big boy. Man. The Pale Wind Scorpion is such a badass name. Ooh, yeah. The hell is a wind scorpion? <laughs> like, that's a wild thing to be saying. It's also known as the Pale Sun Spider. It is a part of the Order Solifugae. And if I'm butchering the Latin, Tough. I did not take Latin. <laughs> Knock it into the pit. Nope, nope, nope. Not having any of that. Wow, he just throw big rock. He sure does. He angie. Dang it. This is this is a super boss zone. I don't want to be fighting things in here. No. Unfortunately, it's a little hard to judge some distances. Yeah. Especially in this uh, 2.5D plane. Oh, right. You have to do the darn reverse. You have to do the reverse boomerang tricks in order to get through here, but we don't care. Because we're not yeah. fighting the tidal worm yet. We're just trying to get through the main part of the mountain. Water striders are so cool. Yeah. It's just such a, a neat thing that some bugs do. Also, love diving bell spiders. That's also cool as hell. Yeah. Why insects gotta be so cool? And also arachnids. And all sorts of other family and genus and order and species and all of them. All right, we got one medal up there. <laughs> A single medal. It could be anything, even something useful. You know what? We take that. Absolutely, we take that. That's more health, baby. The question is, is there anything that'd be worth a trade? I mean, Feeble hasn't gotten a whole lot of use lately, but still useful. I'll be back in just a second. Sure thing. Isn't anything, okay. The ore. And now we've got a got the back entrance opened up. Okay, well, we survived. And we can roll another metal back at Defiant Root. And from there. Just gotta We gotta okay, go. Okay, I'm back. We got the crimson ore. The the what? The ore. Crimson ore. What was the metal? Uh oh the metal was an HP plus. Oh. That's not too bad. 
Yeah, it's actually pretty in good. In fact, it's good. And then we're going to turn in this quest. We've got a Bug Ranger plushie. <gasps> and what about the Mathiva doll? No, it's generic dialogue. Wow. All right. But you could burn it. <laughs> what metal did she make with the Crimson Ore? Seedling affinity! If I really needed to grind for golden seedlings. Yeah. But I've already got the spy data and completed the card game, so... Yeah. Also, I love... It's heavy! It's heavy, yeah. yeah it's made of solid gold. <laughs> that, that's what I'll do. But the ore was crimson, not gold. <laughs> it's an ore. I'll take your or word for it. Or what, you might ask. No, I don't think I will. Oh, okay. Well, I'll keep that in mind. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, back to the desert. Back across the, all the uh, thorns and whatnot to actually make progress in the main story. Because we've now actually depleted the amount of threads to chase. Well, except one. Except one. And we may or may not be. We have a little more health this time. We have over 30 health. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Between all three yeah. of us. Yeah. The over the 30 is, health. The question is, like, for a boss that already starts with ads and will never run out of ads, ever, no matter how much you work on it. Mm -hmm. uh, but now Kabu has a way of attacking through the ads. And... But the main uh, boss is above the ground. Oh... At the very least, Kabu has ways to protect himself. We're gonna do the scorpion boss and open up the desert palace and then we'll make the call, I think, on whether okay. we're gonna try Chomper. I mean, you're the one who actually has a better grasp of this game than me, so. To a certain extent. Would it be faster just to go that way? It might actually. It's like a slower version of the Animal Crossing noise. Maybe. Like the. Or, I guess it's not Animal. It's. Whatever that mobile Animal Crossing game is. Whenever you pick stuff up in it, it's. Everything is just like. I don't know, actually. Weird. It's like. Everything is dizzy somehow. <gasps> this place is a real hole in the wall. Oh, your charm. Uh, right. Yeah, I'll have to grab that when we're back in town. Yeah. Let's get the rest of these shortcuts up and up. What I wouldn't give for one of the enemies to be underneath that when it falls. It would be fun to do at least once. Did I get that one? I guess not. I guess I just didn't bother. Here we go, this is the spot. Yep. Am I full up? I am not. We are going to spend the tax. Oh no, five whole berries. Uh, how are we going on? We've got stuff. Brand. We've... Well, that's a go. It's a me, Scorpio. <laughs> Whoa! I read that as vivacious beast, and I was like, "What are you saying, Kabu?" Not quite how that works. All right. Ah, uh, spy this bastard. 
Okay, you don't know it's a bastard yet. You haven't spied on it. Well, now I know. Okay, there you go. Let's see. What's the closest in this? Weirdly enough, the closest looking scorpion, at least compared to this book, is not any of the desert scorpions. It's the Florida bark scorpion. Huh. Centuroides gracilis. We have the tea. Oh, I could go straight for a pincer, actually, because the grounded enemy is off the. Ooh, maybe? And he Florida just bark scorpions didn't get capable of Sorry, go ahead. didn't accept any of those status effects. Well, no. I'd have to pull up the wiki again to figure out what it's weak to. Yeah. The Florida bark scorpion is oh! capable of parthenogenesis, which means it can produce without a mate. Which makes That's it why. more more important to kill it. Yeah, before it reproduces with itself. <laughs> I'm gonna be making more queens uh, after this. I might as well. Dune Scorpone. It is weak. Oh, it's actually 60% weak to freeze. Or resistant. 60% 60, 60 resistant. Yeah, I could probably and make use of that. And 50% resistant to sleep. But 115% resistance to poison and numb. Ugh. Not as much as I would have liked there. Ugh, seeing that thing turn around is not... Good. <laughs> no. Also, this thing's responsible for uh, Astotheles not having an arm. Checks out. It attacked the uh, bandit hideout and Astotheles fended it off by himself. Yeah, that's kind of the thing you would do. It does explain the scars it's got. Oh, I had one and not the other. Meh. All right, so one more magic close. seed. So close. Goodbye, Ad. Damn you, Psy Score. Probably right. Yeah. You didn't die. That's good enough. Man, Heavy Throw is doing more work <laughs> now that we're on vampire mode. Mm -hmm. Well, that and just the sheer defense levels. I do not think you used Heavy Throw this, nearly this much in any of the other runs. No. It's kind of very necessary here. Yeah. At least out of the options I have. Ow. Oh god. Hmm. Big rock. Not happy with any of that. No. Oh. There we go. Yeah. Oh, so a little tantrum. How dare you beat me? I don't like you. No. He's full of guts. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh god. Zasp! You correct, you weren't fast enough. I appreciate you trying though.
Now we join Leaf in the Trauma Zone. Well, Leaf, are you aware of the Black Mountain? Have you met the Space Koala? <laughs> to reference Lower Decks. I have not watched any Lower Decks. <laughs> It's really good. It's way better a Star Trek series than I was expecting. It takes a little while for the first season to really like get up. You can tell it's a. It d it definitely project. seems like they started out as like, all right, we'll do our own like branded Rick and Morty, and then they were like, wait, we could just do Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> we could just no, do they, Star Trek down here. <laughs> they fully embrace how weird Star Trek is. There's a whole episode where they're on the Voyager and they just keep referencing. Like how weird Voyager got <laughs> <laughs> to the like, and they they don't even like they they flat out say like it was Voyager things got weird. <laughs> <sighs> but they also very clearly love the series. Oh yeah, like all the series, and they bring actors back, which is nice. Yeah, I I, I have seen clips, and it it does seem like it's got some really strong moments. Yeah. Anyway. It is amazing how much adding a V makes a sandcastle sound, like, <laughs> threatening. It's like, what's that there? Oh, it's a sandcastle. It's THE sandcastle. <laughs> the one and only. Yeah. It, it changes the emphasis. It's like, you know, it's a sand castle versus the sand castle. The castle of sand versus the sand in the shape yeah. of a castle. Yeah, exactly. A thief doll. Bug ranger plushie. Bug ranger. Sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Surely the Russians were a fan too, says Kabu with... <laughs> just waving his arms in desperation. Mm-hmm. Oh no, wait, no, that was that was Leaf. <laughs> that was Leaf. <laughs> wait, who, who 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 was who was speaking there? Yeah, it was Leaf. <laughs> Leaf after his near death experience got a little sassy. <laughs> oh, I, I wonder if it, that's I wonder if that's because you can use it at the Venus shrine. Or just, like during the Venus section. Maybe. If Venus considers it a valuable thing, then maybe the roaches do too. Maybe. Card trophy? Nah. Okay, fine. Fine. Fine, I'll use the proper key in the proper slot. Some kids standing like on the other side of the yard seeing a sandcastle rise out of the box. What the heck? <sighs> well, we made it. Oh. Frosty. Actually, uh -huh. how, how is this place still related to Leaf? Uh, ro I mean, it's Roach Tech. Yeah, I guess. And uh, I think so is Leaf. Yeah, do I want to go through this and see if there's any metals in here? I probably do, right? Yeah, probably. It won't take, it won't take too long. Uh, as, we skip, as long as we continue to skip every single combat encounter. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you don't need to do that many combat Traditional sliding ice block puzzle. You thought we were gonna have an ice element and not do a sliding ice puzzle? <laughs> you fool, you charlatan. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 
Wait, what did he call it? Cryo crystal, okay. <laughs> hey. Oh sword. my god. Berserkers <laughs> on the table. <laughs> You said that, oh my god, in the exact way Homer does after, <laughs> before, Trump, I'm please! <laughs> oh, Berserker is so tempting, but also very much a trap. Yeah. Let's get most of the way there on this one, I think, and then we'll... I'll just not fight anything at all, ever. Crystal Berry, also very good. Just... Gotta maximize our metal rolls. That's that's the yeah. idea here. Because uh, boy, do we need chomping our lives. Yes. My pattern-seeking monkey brain keeps hitting me with uh, frozen sliding ice block puzzle. <laughs> frozen <laughs> sliding <laughs> ice block puzzle. Oh, we got it. Uh oh. Well, okay, yeah, it's a real cool game. That's what the cryo crystals are all about. Cool. Oh. I know that you're just you making up a guy, but I got legit mad. <laughs> Much like actual droopy dog only ever made people angry. Yeah. Aha! Uh -huh. A key! It ancient! Nope, stop that. Stop that right now, young man. <laughs> I think that's everything in this room, right? Well, I'm, between sessions I'll do some more, like, item cleanup to make sure I grab any other, like, dig spots or whatever. Let's see, Ancient Castle. Wow, this does not list nearly. Nah. Oh, there we go, collectibles. Uh... The, oh, the Berserker one was the Frostbite <laughs> metal elsewhere. Mm. There's two crystal berries. Uh, no, no, I'd rather not. I'd rather not. Thank you. Goodbye. Uh, there's the ancient cat. There's one ancient castle. There's two ancient castle keys. The big old Merle. And then the Watcher. So, yeah. Yep. So you got one more crystal and two more keys to collect. I need you to leave me alone while I'm trying to dodge boulders here. Do they punish you with damage for that? No. Alright, we can run now. Oh, and there's a side room here. You yeah, found the other me. crystal berry. That's what, five? Alright, so we got. We can get one more metal from the underground. Yeah. Yeah. Medals! Cool. Alright. Why not use big rock to crush small rock? I really don't want to fight any of these drones. Nope. 
I mean, you'll have to at some point just for the spy data, but... Yeah. There we go. I wonder how many are affected by Bug Me Not. I mean, I don't know if it's worth checking out right uh, now. Because you're going to have them anyway. It would make this a lot easier. I mean, that's only if they're actually affected by Bug Me Not. Worth finding out. They are! Oh, Ow. magic eyes. That's helpful, I think. Seems like it would be at any rate. Yeah. A statue. Oh, right. You, you got to go around the outside there. That's the trick there. But now you've unlocked the short coot. Yep. Like, this is a pretty tricky to puzzle dungeon, but in all estimation, it really is just kind of solid. Yeah. Right, there's definitely know. worse. Definitely worse dungeons. There's, there's worse dungeons that deal with both sand and ice. <laughs> yeah. There's worse dungeons that deal with sand and ice simultaneously. Yep. Right, we gotta... Would you just? No. Really? No. I have complete... Oh, wait, no, it's hands and then feet, right? Yeah. Yeah. The hands should drop water, I guess. Theoretically? Wow, the door. Before it drop sinking in the sand. So, yeah, that's the first puzzle, and then... And we felt the cold of our feet of walking away. Couldn't you just stand on the other one? No, it's, it's got to be a frozen object. Ow. Ah, you. Stay frosty. It is mandatory that you stay frosty. What the? What do you mean? further enough into the uh, permafrost zone, huh? Mm -hmm. There we go. Crystals. Crystals. There's a door. Yep. There's a mural. That's the discovery. And that's the elevator to the ground floor. So now you only need the big key. From the next frozen slide <laughs> ice block puzzle. <sighs> Alright, it's not going to move if the ground's not frozen. Yeah. It needs to go in that little gap in the back near the wall. Like so. Like so. 
Not I'm too glad bad. We made it through. He built a bunch of statues to look at this key. Oh, this is a forced fight. Oh no. <laughs> Well, we have to now. It'll, it'll be fine. Ah, 17 health thing. each. <laughs> Just got a Steam notification and I was like, how did I get an achievement for watching a game being played? That would be crazy. That really would be. Hmm. Damn. Love barely what surviving. Got against Kabu? Well, he is at the front and the first one they can see. Yeah, but it feels like they usually pick more or less at random. Well, the math is actually the person in front has a three and five chance, and the other two have a one and five. Oh. And if someone is wearing the leaf cloak, uh, like Leaf is, if that is their first pick, then they will re-roll. Oh. I think we sharing stash. So in Lee's position, it's a 1 in 25% chance of being picked. Essentially. Huh. So Leaf really shouldn't have any issues. Yeah, Leaf should be fine for a while. I mean, it's not like he won't, he won't ever get picked. He's just much less likely for the foreseeable future. Yeah. I mean, a 1 in 25 chance is so much lower by comparison. Mm-hmm. Oh. Maybe the Wardens are weak to stuff. Let me check. Wardens are weak to numb. They have a 30% resistance. Well. And a 45% resistance to freeze. So. Oh, and they're weak to ice. So, here we go. That'll do. V, steal the essence out of these machines. I don't know how that works, but I'm sure you can do it. Oh, cool. Charging up. That means he's gonna explode. Man, those B inputs keep hitting you. Wait, is he actually going, going to explode? Uh, from what I'm seeing online, it's Wardens can charge instead of attacking, gaining a defense up in hard mode. After charging, they will self-destruct on their next turn, damaging the entire team. According oh. to the Bug Fables wiki. The wiki never lies! I mean, the wiki generally knows what it's talking about. Yeah. It's not exactly put together by people who, you know, dislike the game. Yep. We're just gonna fill the wiki with lies. <laughs> This wiki is sponsored to you by Irrational Hatred. 
Honestly, that would just be too much work. <laughs> it really would be. <laughs> that's not... That's not... I don't think there's any game that drives me, like, so... makes me so irritated that I would build an entire website just to shit on it. The only one that got me close was, uh, what's it called? What, Fairy Fencerette? No. Oh, no, I, you're, uh, the Quivering. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was gonna go back and look for medals and whatnot. I mean, you're already here. I'm already I here. Will. What's the worst that could happen? You've already saved. Just about to fight an undead magic roach. Let's not leave. Did you also need to? Did yeah, you also need to do the, the doom voice? It's part of the accent. <laughs> this scene didn't happen, so it was just empty. It was just like closed coffin, hard cut to he's floating in front of everybody. <laughs> oh boy. ADHP, I love this. Uh, I was diagnosed with that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to a little hit bit longer. Inputs. That that hit. I had to close my eyes to process that one, and I, and I was I had to do inputs. Oh, sorry, sorry, didn't mean to throw that on. There. That was quite something. All right, let's go. Let's play a video game. Oh, I have next to no items. This might be a waste of time. Yeah, <laughs> the lack of items could be a killer. Quick, use Frozen Drill, throw Kabu's body at him. Nope. Uh, no oh, this is extremely not happening. Yeah. All right, yeah. Yeah, we, you we, need we, to go get some items. We need items to get through that. <sighs> I'm also like completely out of Queen's dinners too. I've spent so many of them. Yep. If you want, you can always uh you can always go bake a bunch and I'll just read passages from this book. That'll totally work. Ever. <laughs> Do you want to stick around for longer? Because we're coming up on the three hour mark. I'm fine with whatever. I need to go take some meds real fast, but... Yeah, yeah, totally. But I'm good otherwise. Uh, we'll see. It's... I mean, it's... Making, like, three or four wouldn't be too... terrible. There is a type of beetle called the Bumbleflower Scarab. What I find most interesting about this little descriptor of them is it... Feeds on flowers, ripe fruit, and tree sap in a variety of open habitats. Occasionally, they attack ears of corn and okra plants. Oh boy. The, the attack is a little bit of a weird phrasing there. Do they eat it? Or is it just like, these, these bugs can't fucking stand okra? Hmm. Is it destroy on sight? Oh, there's more quests, huh? Oh, probably. Lost a collector's item. Oh, hey! I wonder who that is. Gee whiz. Okay, this is a terrible name. The Ant-Loving Scarab. You want to know why it's called that? Because it loves to eat scarabs? Uh, it loves to eat ants. Oh. <laughs> it's a scarab that loves to eat ants. Cool. Dune Scorpion. 
Numb resistance. Yeah. It's like calling Americans the burger loving primate. Yeah. Well, we definitely need to pick up some magic seeds, as usual. Yeah. Always. And time for another trip to the bank, too. Yeah, actually, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stock up. It is one thing I do think is kind of neat about these ant living scarabs is apparently they have pitted bodies, um, so that they, like, all of the ant pheromones get, like, they remain within the bug. Mm. So they, you know, don't get like immediately attacked as they enter these nests. Gotcha. That's kind of cool. Healing right now, not really. Give me miracle matter. That might actually be something. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, we need to put that on Kabu. <laughs> oh, right, we have Berserker on the table now, too. As you said, though, I think it's pretty much a trap. Yeah, it's not great. So, not, being able, to, not being able to use items is kind of the big one. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is indeed a big one. Although, given that other people can use items on you, as bad. Yeah, but if you're the only one left. Oh, that's true. So in another one of uh, the Discord chats I'm in, I changed my name to BEM for Bread Eating Menace. <laughs> someone, someone, someone uh, was talking about ducks and used that as a pejorative about them. And I was mm. like, hey, that's me you're talking about. <laughs> And Ducks. I found another one, which is the red-legged ham beetle. Wow. So, might have to change my name to that in a different chat. Tag yourself. <laughs> Put 2,000 fake berries in there, and I'm now about to bring it back down to... My my decision to uh, just cheat money into existence to make this go slightly faster is unfortunately paying off. <laughs> yeah, it really is. Because, yeah, no. Lost item, we gotta go to find root. I just make a bunch of donuts and queen's dinners and then go back? Yeah, probably. 